Well, Christmas is coming, and we have this sweet little reindeer. All excited. I thought I would show um, parts of the our home, which we have decorated for Christmas because even no matter how old I get, I just love doing this. And for a lot of people, it's a chore, but I love it. Um, you know, as long as we have loved ones, whoever those loved ones may be, we have people to celebrate with or, um, and again, it does not necessarily have to be family. It can be a uh, blood family. I mean, it can be people in our lives who we choose you know, to have close relationships with and who become our sort of foster family or other type of family. And, uh, um, you know, as long as we have love in our lives, I think it's whatever holiday we're celebrating, it can be a really good one. It's really the spirit of it. Anyways, this is one side of my living room. Uh, I should say dining room. And we've got one of these big balls that I love so much. I just love these, these big giant balls. And uh, this is, I'm just going to have to show my showcase uh, filled with all my china and all sorts of things from actually mostly Europe. Uh, actually, this is a Paradise doll that I did years ago, but it has nothing to do with Christmas. <laughs> just thought I'd show it. These are my rolled Dalton, uh, the, the glass, of course. Um, but this is the other side. It's a bit slanted. I don't know. We have to fix that for sure. But it's just, I love these. Uh, they're not necessarily super fancy, like the one on the left isn't. This one's kind of pretty. And here again is the big ball. So I'm going to try to get the other side, of course, to look like this. And um, anyways, just makes me really, really happy. And I will also show the kitchen. So here we are in the kitchen. So please excuse, it's not absolutely pristine. But this is a beautiful once upon a time. Uh, what does it say here? It says, sweet dreams too. And I have this silly habit. I never take the tags off, but that's okay. You can see this little guy or girl, I guess, uh, with the old fashioned candle and this other, the two mice. They're just so cute. Ever since I was little, a little kid, I was always fascinated with mice. I actually, when I was I don't know, seven or eight, I think it was under 10 or maybe just maybe 10. Um, I actually wrote a book on Marvin the Mouse. Um, and I was always fascinated by Beatrix Potter. Um, I don't know how many of you know or have seen her books or, but they are fairly popular even now, I think. And uh, I'll just. All right. So if you can just excuse that this is a little slanted, um, but this one here is a very, very beautiful um, mouse with all sorts of Christmas presents uh, with another little mouse that's dressed up like a reindeer and ob obviously this is a three-dimensional ornament I don't know even where to get them now maybe online but the, these are um, from the Charming Tale series and uh, they were created I believe and made by an artist named Dean Griff, and I'm just like such a super fan of this. Um, they're just like, for me, I just find them like so relaxing. So basically I have this in my kitchen, just moving to the window here. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but I have my little, it's actually a real gingerbread house on top um, and my Beatrix Potter books. And I have some acorns, it's a little dirty and uh, dusty and I, I should probably have cleaned it a little bit before taking the picture. Um, 
but the um the real beauty for me actually is outside and in the summer to be able to see the you know the greenery and in the winter to see the snow sometimes it's snowing gently and it's just like the perfect environment for make, baking cookies and doing christmas things and um oh my goodness this is just um a candy cane uh wreath actually that i placed uh in uh to surround my little window here but um i was gonna say that um oh my goodness uh I'm so grateful to have this little window because I used to have one in my house. And finally, I'm going to show you a little mouse um, thing that I think is really cute. So here we are again. We've got my little Scooby watching. Um, he's always interested in what. And just to sort of show, this is called. It says, not a. Not a creature was stirring, and clearly it alludes to not even a mouse. And here we have this very, very cute little mouse with a mop cap and sort of a Christmassy fabric. And a very, very dear friend of ours, my mother's a friend from Girl Guides, made, us, made this years ago, I believe. And we've got this little tiny braid and with a little ribbon. And it's just so cute. I just, oh my gosh, I just love it so much. And these are the things to me, these, these, um, just to end it here, uh, what I was saying was that, um, it's these little ornaments, um, that are so cute or pretty or beautiful or all of those things that are filled with memories that so much mean, mean so much to me during the holidays. I just love them. And there's no... Uh, price you can attach to these, especially these handmade ones. Oh my god, what did you get? Candy cane ice cream oh, from Walmart. Oh, my favorite. And pretzels then from we, Walmart. We Cupcakes pretzels. from Walmart. Look at that. Oh beautiful. My gosh. Chocolate truffle ice cream. Oh. We've got this beautiful wrapping paper from uh, the dollar store. And rabbits and remind me rabbits. of my grandmother, yes. And beautiful, so beautiful. Cherimino cherries from, of course, Walmart. Okay, wonderful. That looks awesome. Hi, everybody. Today has been such a funny day so far that if I wanted, I could probably do another bloopers episode. First of all, the cameraman had to help me with my zipper. And then he was chasing Scooby around with wrapping paper. So, really, honestly. Okay. And the bus broke down. And the bus broke down. Okay, Any, anyways, forget about all that. So, I'm going to be making something, if the cameraman can just do a shoot here. So, yeah. we've got a bunch of pretzels. We've got some maraschino cherries. And I'm taking these pretzels. She's making reindeer don't... antlers. Oh, God. You don't have to say what I'm doing. I have to tell the people. I'll just make one and I'm gonna have to fuss a little bit with this antler but you basically get the idea it's Rudolph yes Woo! okay so as That's I said exciting I'm gonna have to fiddle around with the pretzels a little bit but you get the idea That's Rudolph. and I made no those and I made those thank you and I made those for a party one time they were hit they're delicious because of the salty pretzels and the chocolate and the maraschino cherries, but they're also very cute. So I will finish that off, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, guys, so you saw me doing, I'm eating away and so is the cameraman. So um, what I was going to say is you saw me do the reindeer. I did them before. I did them about a few years ago. And as I told you, I never rehearse when I'm doing the episode. So they were kind of like falling off a little bit. So I'm going to show you if the cameraman can come here. Yeah, we did what a I did. Job. I think these look absolutely spectacular. And what we did is we took a pretzel. I'll just show. So we have this pretzel here. And we made one antler with this one and one antler with that one. So with each pretzel, if you do that, one is going to have a chunk out of it. So with one pretzel, you can only do either the right ear or antler or the left. So just to show, we have like this. Okay, and then we put them on and they're stable. Yes, they're better. Yeah, yeah so if you just want to take, yeah, because I don't want to, I don't want to scare the viewers. It's morning for me and I, I'm sure I don't look very good. So thank you for watching. Hope you try this and we'll see you next time with more fun ideas for Christmas. Take care and bye for now.